What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Erin. It's very nice to meet you. I thought I would bring back the series where every month I go over what I have been loving lately, whether that be beauty, fashion, lifestyle, household appliances. I'm just gonna be covering everything in this video that I've been loving in October. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I am watching Grey's Anatomy for the first time. So if you have not seen Grey's Anatomy yet and you plan on watching it, then please fast forward to this time frame so I don't spoil anything for you. I feel like I'm the only person in the world that has not watched Grey's Anatomy before because everyone keeps messaging me telling me to buckle up because I am in for a roller coaster of a ride. I am just starting season six or just ending season six and I must cry in every single episode but I cannot stop watching. It's gotten to the point where I watch at least five episodes a day, it's crazy. I love that my friends have all seen it though because every time something traumatic happens like George passing away, lost it. They just had the hospital shoot up, lost it. So it's nice that I can text them for support and they can talk me down like, girl, don't worry about it. Next episode, you'll chill out. And in six more episodes, you'll be bawling your eyes out again. So if you are looking for a new show to watch, I believe all 16 seasons are on Netflix. So you can watch along with me and let me know in the comment section down below what's going on or DM me on Instagram and we can work through it together. When I am not watching Grey's Anatomy, I am reading books on my Kindle. If you do not have one and you are not a fan of reading, I promise as soon as you read on a Kindle, your life will change. I really got into reading about 10 years ago with the Game of Thrones books, but if I had to read the actual book that is this thick, I never would have started. By reading books on Kindles, I can read a book that's this big or this big and I don't get overwhelmed by the size of the book and it allows me to just enjoy what I'm reading and not thinking, okay, just finish this chapter. I actually get fully into the books and I speed through them while reading on a Kindle. It also helps me fall asleep at night by reading. I just kind of zen out, zone out, my brain shuts off and then I'm able to knock out where normally I'm sitting on my phone and cannot shut my brain off. I do love sci-fi and murder mysteries, so if you enjoy those two as well, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I always share what book I am reading that day, that week, that month, and then I review it for you guys to know if you should stay away or not or get your hands on the book as well. Now that we are done with the entertainment portion of my favorites this October, I want to talk skincare. If you've been here for a couple months and you know I have seriously been struggling with acne, I never had acne growing up. And then one day I woke up with insane cystic acne. I couldn't sleep at night. My face was always throbbing. It was bright red, it was hot. I was just in so much pain. And after my esthetician put me on the Face Reality skincare line, my life has changed and Face Reality has helped it clear up so much. I'm not going to share my specific skincare routine with you guys because it is very strict, but it is specific to what my skin needs. I will leave my esthetician's information down below if you live in Mass and Rhode Island and are dealing with any kind of skin problems. She has helped me tremendously. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part, which is fashion. I'm going to be doing a blog post on these to go into more detail for you guys, but I figured I would at least show you what I have been wearing on my wrist lately. I love the Apple Watch because I love to track how active I am throughout the day, make sure I'm hitting my goals. Working from home, I tend to just sit down at my dining room table and work from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. with no breaks, and the Apple Watch really helps me get my ass up and moving but I obviously want something fashionable on my wrist. So I went and picked up a couple watch bands from Etsy. This is a Louis Vuitton watch band. They did have a bunch of different colors that you could pick from. And then on the inside, it is stamped and says Louis Vuitton on it. I did pick up three. So the next one, I'm just gonna show you this piece. This is genuine leather and it is a Gucci band and it is so nice. I would say this was my most expensive one and it did take about a month to come in, but I obviously don't mind. I would rather have better quality. And then for the third one that I grabbed is Gucci as well. One of the reasons why it took me so long to get on board with Apple Watches is I just didn't feel like they were very fashionable, 
but obviously when you have a designer band on, you'll like it a little bit more. I did a video while I was blonde showing you how I apply my extensions and how I curl my hair, but recently I went brunette and needed new extensions. So it was a no brainer for me to grab Irresistible Me extensions again. The blonde extensions that they sent me were the perfect match and it was the same story for the brunette. I did just have them curled for a shoot that I did, so that is why I'm not wearing them now. I do have a lot of light pieces that pull through from being blonde, so when these are in, it really just fills out my hair. I don't do it for length at all. I believe these are the 16 inch, and I do have a discount code down below for you guys. I don't make anything, anything off of you purchasing them. I just truly believe that these extensions are the best that I have ever had. And if you are looking for some, then you can save some money when you purchase from Irresistible Me. I feel like this won't be a shock to anyone, but my favorite brand to shop from right now is Zara. Every other week I have a Zara haul. I just can't stop. I actually had to delete the app off my phone to take a hard pause from them. If you are looking for basics, they have insanely great basics. They also have great statement pieces. If you are looking for that coat, that signature piece for this fall and winter, they have prices that range from $50 to $250. So I definitely think it hits everyone's price point and the quality is always top notch. I have personally been picking up a ton of faux leather pieces, whether that be a faux leather blazer, more faux leather leggings, faux leather tops and dresses. It is just so popular going into this fall and winter. It definitely started to pick up a lot last season, but it is full blown faux leather season now. And not just in black, but in a lot of neutrals. I showed you the brown leather blazer that I picked up from Express. I also picked up tan faux leather leggings from Zara. I have faux leather dresses from ASOS. If you can get your hands on an affordable faux leather piece, I highly recommend you do that. It is so on trend and faux leather or leather in general is never going to go out of style. You see it come back all the time. My last October favorite you saw in a haul that I did for this fall and it is American Eagle or Airy leggings, one and the same. I cannot get enough of them. I got them on sale for $35. I feel like they go on sale a lot with American Eagle and they are the best leggings I've ever worn. Whether you wanna wear them for a hike or you wanna wear them dressed up with a sweater or you wanna wear them casually going to get your nails done, they can definitely be dressed up or dressed down and they always hold their fit. They are not a material that's gonna stretch out. You are always sucked into place. I love how high-waisted they are and the length, how it hits just at my ankles. So you can tuck them into boots, wear them with high socks, wear them with low socks and sneakers. I've just been able to style them so many different ways and I need to pick up more pairs just to have in my back pocket if anything ever happens to these. Okay guys, that's going to be it for my favorites this October. If you like this type of video where I do a roundup of what I've been loving each month, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.